So we're here at Tolona Ridge, and there is my lovely wife, Mika. Hey, Meek. Hello, hello. So what are we doing today? Well, we thought it would be a great opportunity to take everyone inside of Trita May. We talk about her so often, and with the lovely weather, uh, thought, hey, it's a great opportunity. We've got great views, great sunlight. So hey, let's go inside. It's a new year and we're chasing new adventures. We're Mika and Reggie, camping newbies intrigued by the RV lifestyle. So we made the decision on the weekends to move from the couch to camping. And as Southerners, we always tow our hospitality and charm as we chase the sun, sand and sea in our RV. Here. So this is the panel. Of course, everyone has the panel um, on any type of a rig. It's all of your controls. We added the bulletin board just because we're starting to collect um, stickers uh, for everywhere that we're going. And then we just added um, a little strip for uh, the keys because we were always misplacing our keys. But one of the things that we loved about this model is actually this cabinet right here. It has dual purposes. It can be a pantry or it can be a coat closet because you have the hooks here, but we're using it primarily just for a pantry and for a storage area. And as you can see, it has plenty of space. Highly recommend using baskets, not only for organization, but on those travel days or when you leave things like hand sanitizers and cleaning materials inside, it doesn't shake and get all over the place. And then another feature that we absolutely love is this little foot cubby hole right here where you can place, not a foot cubby hole, you know what I mean, shoe cubby hole, where you can place your shoes. And our other RV, I just absolutely did not like the clutter at the front door and I had to buy a basket and we would put our shoes in and out of the basket. But here on this model, it comes already there. And so with that, let me spin you around, Reggie. And this is the front kitchen um this is by far um, one of the things that we absolutely love um, in both the rvs that we've had because it just gives you so much sunlight uh, you can look out and it just makes the fate the space feel so much more open and in this particular model we have some additional counter space and so it just allows you again just to spread out and so everything else is your typical stuff um, the refrigerator nothing special about it microwave your oven um, we like the cabinet space in this model is really nice and so we use this for our spices and then up here is where we put primarily all of our drinking ware and plates one of the things we love is a good glass as they say there's an app for that we have a glass for that um, but um, we try to stay away from glass that's one of Reggie's biggest pet peeves is we don't want to you know things happen you don't want things to happen in an RV where they can get into crevices and things of that nature so we keep a lot of things plastic wear so we just have a lot of variety and I would definitely recommend that to anyone out there that don't think that you have to just do disposable. I know it's easier solo cups or styrofoam cups, but if you like, you know, stuff for tea, cocktails, lemonade, what have you, you can find a plastic glass in any shape for an exact drink that you're looking for. And so again, we use baskets. We did uh, the cabinet dividers just to give us a little bit more space. And then another tip of mine is my best friend, and from an organizational standpoint, is plastic bags it saves you money and it helps again traveling down the road it contains everything and helps you to get organized and you can just get so many more things in a cabinet and so that again is just one of my favorite and then here again see I'm having things in you know big jumbo ziploc plastic bags because it just helps the organization and you can just get so many more things in there other than that, um, I would say one little small nit that is not ideal uh, in this model is the location of the outlets. Wouldn't you agree, Reg? Yeah, and then also the height of the cabinets. Uh, yeah. I'm 
unfortunately, and I'm only 5'10", but I've banged the heck out of my head a couple times. So I try and tell myself before I look out that window or go up, like, hey, Look up. Look up. Look up. <laughs> yourself here. Right. Yeah. Um, but other than that, so your outlets are here and all the way back here, you know, which is behind the sink. So I like to cook on a griddle. And so the griddle is very tricky where in our other model, the RV, they actually had outlets right here by the, um, the oven. And in this model, they don't. These are your only two. It's plenty of them, but again, just the spacing of it. And then everything else, same thing, drawer space, some additional cabinet spaces, plenty of things. Uh, this was really kind of the, one of the selling points and motivators for us to get the new RV. You've heard us mention it before, of a dedicated place to sit down and to eat. As you can see, I have everything decorated for Easter. Um, that's one of my things. I love to celebrate, decorate, whatever. We're going to a campsite nine times out of 10. I'm wrapping it into some type of a celebration. Um, but aside from that, um, this does break down for a bed. Um, for an adult, it could be questionable, but again, if you have some kids, um, you know, it could be a great alternative for you. Or hey, in a pinch, if someone had to come unexpectedly or wanted to join you on a campsite, this does fold down um, for a bit. We have not yet invited anybody out on the road with us. Um, every time that we've gone out, it's primarily been with family or my parents, and my parents have more space in their RV. So aside from that, yeah, um, and it's great for dogs, too. So yes. it makes a great dog bed, I would say. Um, yeah. And one thing I guess you guys don't know about us, we do have two puppies. They're just... <laughs> they're not they're ready not, yet. They're not travel ready yet. So we're working on that. But hopefully sometime in the future, they'll make an appearance or two or three, and we can get them out on the road. And if you have any tips, please feel free to provide them in the comments. We have schnauzers, two miniature schnauzers. They're brothers, litter mates. And... If you have any tips about how to train your dogs on an RV, uh, preparing them for an RV, please let us know. And then another little small nit um, that we wanted to bring to your attention is that we love these blinds. That these are the shade blinds and then the privacy blinds. But hear that? They constantly bang up against the metal um, framing of the windows. And so what we just started doing is we found these little small felt um, circles that have adhesive on the back and we're starting to notice that it's making a difference and so you just kind of have to play with it a little bit to make sure you get it where the blind hits that metal to help prevent um, that noise but that's one of the things that um, at night, especially when the, the, the weather was really nice and you want to open your windows with the breezes, it just kept banging back and back and forth. And one of the things that we like to add in our RV is a rug. Uh, it just helps make the space a little bit more homey. Also, it helps um, keep the moisture off of the floor since, you know, it's vinyl or and you kind of sometimes it absorbs moisture. And then the other thing is you can only really do it this time of year when you're not using your furnace and heat source because you do cover a vent there. As you can see, this is the second vent that's uncovered. Uh, wait a minute, Mika, before you move on past the vents, why don't you tell them a little bit more about what we did with the vent? Oh, yeah, absolutely. So what you'll notice on the vents, you'll notice this black framing around here. What we did is we actually, thank you, Mr. Reginald, um, we added these in. It's almost like a, a filter, netting, basket, whatever you want to call it. We picked it up from Amazon. Can you see that? because we were concerned with debris and dust and you know just anything falling down in here and getting into the system. And so we found this solution. Uh, it has not caused any problems with um, our slides. It's really thin and, and sticks very closely to the floor. Uh, it's not had and pulled, it's secure. And so we just thought that was a really great solution uh, for the vents in the floor and then to protect protect things for getting into that duct system. So we'll yeah. put the information um, in our link below. Yep, we can do that. And yeah, they weren't expensive at all. So just measure and get as close to the size that you can if you have that unit. Um, I, offhand, I don't know what size, but when you look at the link, I'll, uh, I may have, I'll put our size in there as well. So. Yeah, so there you go. It's kind of like a little basket. 
Uh, and then this is, you know, self-explanatory. This is um, a fireplace heat source. We use this a lot. We were going back and forth when we were looking at RVs, debating whether or not we really needed um, a fireplace, but it is critical because we actually don't use our furnace a lot. This provides an awesome heat source for you and it really keeps you warm, especially this time of, day, this time of the year when it's in the spring and you can have those cool mornings, but then you know, you're in the 70s, especially traveling around the south by mid-afternoon, and so it just doesn't make sense to all the time you know, cut your furnace on and off. And then television, have speakers for outside. At some point, we are going to think about you know, doing something with this for like a feature wall, uh, but right now, it works. Um, and then again, seating, theater to seating, uh, one of the things, that are pretty cool. You got the cup holders, uh, and here you have another USB. USB. You have two USB, and then you have just your regular outlet that you can hook up with. And so, you think it's one of those things that oh, you know, not going to use it. We actually use it an awful lot, especially when you're sitting here in the evenings. Your phone is dying. It's just a great um, space to be able to provide you another alternative. And then, again, more cabinet space really great um, surprise surprise more decorations that I have stuck up here and this this model does not lack in storage space I will say that you know there may be some other things that may not be ideal but if storage is your challenge this provides you ample amount of storage and then you have the lights there you have the lights here that's kind of all typical stuff and so this is the lovely bedroom that you've heard us talk about um, in some of our previous videos. This walk around um, bed was one of the main factors of why we did upgrade. And when you hear people talk about walk around is exactly what I'm doing right now. It's the ability to walk around the bed and not have to step up at night. You can just get in, it's accessible and it's just lovely. It is a world of difference because our previous one Reggie's side was walk around, my side you had to step up, and so this, when you're making the bed up, there's no issues, it's just wonderful. Um, it does have, again, more storage, and so over the bed, uh, we have the storage space here, we have a storage space over there. We don't really use that a lot. I have a couple baskets on that side that I use. Um, and you, you know, if you are new to RVing, what you'll find is baskets are your friend. The more that you can contain things, uh, the better it is. You think sometimes, oh, I can just shove stuff in there, but organization and containment, I would say, are really key in helping you make the most out of your spaces. And, um, another idea in terms of making the most out of your space, this is our closet. Plenty of space, night and day of what we had before. And what I did is I added a couple of these little swinging little shelves things that you can fold up. You have the ability to hang things quite naturally. You can fit bags there. And then that's my side. And this is his closet. Uh, and then Reggie doesn't like to hang stuff or fold stuff up, but he still has his bag. Again, look how, you know, well, what, ample what, what, that is. What's wrong with that? No shade. I'm just speaking the facts. I don't like to have my... I don't <laughs> you like don't. To, I don't like to have my stuff out. That's all. I like right. I, I'm more of, I want to be settled. I come in, sometimes I come in the day before, I put all my things in, and Reggie prefers to... Have a to-go bag. That's all. <laughs> you you guys out there know to, what I mean. Tomato, when it's time, tomato. When it's time to roll, it's time to roll. I grab my bag and I'm out. I personally feel more settled when I can bring my things out of my bags. I can see it. I can see it hanging. But regardless, um, here we have some extra blankets. So he's functioning as a linen closet. And then, you know, there you go. And then... What about down there? Down here, you have more storage. So these are full drawers. Um, that's mm -hmm. empty because we have, you know... So you're not utilizing some space there, Mick. Because I have more than enough. And then, <laughs> uh, if you come back over here, what I'll show you is... We were on the fence about this feature. This bed flips up and it allows you to have access to the door outside um, it's on a spring and so you what you see is drawers here that you can access from the top and then this is everything from the outside we're on the fence about it 
but situations have come up where we're starting to grow on us especially when it's a couple times it's been bad weather and we wanted to get something that we might have forgotten uh, Reggie keeps it very organized he has storage containers or he has those little zip bags and actually the bags that he uses Christmas bags so don't forget about that when you're looking for options again we use primarily we bought everything off of Amazon but a lot of these are wreath bags uh, wreath bags and there may be one or two Christmas uh, small Christmas tree bags. and he did the different colors to help him uh, make sure he knows what's clean what's dirty and then we have our chairs um, set up out here and yeah it just works and you know we make sure that we spray it down debating um, I was worried about it being drafty uh, but we didn't have that issue at all no. but at some point you know we still may revisit this to not wall it off, but, you know, put something well, else. Well, we may put, like, a, a tarp or a plastic barrier yeah. just, just to make sure. But for now, it's working out just fine. Right. Just no fine. issues there. Yep. Another feature that we really like is that you have access both from the inside and from the outside. And bathroom pretty much speaks for itself. You know, standard stuff, standard um, shower, I will say... The one thing, if you come up here, is the cabinet spaces are very, 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 very shallow. They're here, and you can get things in it. You just have to be creative. So, for instance, one of the things that I did, because, you know, the space is a little more narrow, instead of putting um, a toilet paper roll out here that you would knock over, uh, I just decided, hey, let's just put your toilet paper on a paper towel dispenser, and it works with storage. It doesn't go anywhere when you're traveling, and then it's easily accessible there. And then tip for the ladies or anyone who uses hot appliances. I was really worried about burning the countertops, and so I just picked up a very inexpensive um, a hot plate um, for your kitchen that you would typically put on your countertop and put a pot on there. I just picked up some of those, and I use those to set my curler, my flat irons down. And so... That alleviates that concern of me coming in here walking off and forgetting it and then scorching um, the plastic the vinyl or whatever material and that's why I have a grab bag <laughs> what does that have to do with a curling iron <laughs> yeah you set my joint on fire I gotta bounce my, my bags my, ready to go my curlers are not setting anything on fire bug out bag Stop ready being to ridiculous. Go. <laughs> And then that's it. Um, so essentially, this is Trina May. And then you have the second exit um, out. And depending on where you are, it's kind of like a, a, a room with a view. One of those features that we were on the fence about um, buying, but now it's it just works out great uh, because when we're traveling, it is amazing because you can have access by this entrance way coming into this bathroom without having to let the slides out. Yeah, yeah, that's a major that's a major upgrade. Huge, huge to difference. Stopping to get gas, especially during the pandemic. Right. We were not trying to visit anybody's bathroom but exactly. our own. So that worked out great. Huge upgrade for us. Exactly. And so that is probably one of the best things about this second door that's it um this is the lovely trina may um and we love her we've had some folks in the comments ask um well, what don't we like about her i pointed out the knits i would say that's on the inside on the outside i would probably say the number one thing that we're still on the fence or not if, if we're really missing it or not is the outdoor kitchen this model does not have an outdoor kitchen where our previous model did and we used it a lot and because it cooled down a lot faster than the main uh, refrigerator yeah. um, we never use the outside kitchen because either we take our griddle outside or reggie has his little small um charcoal grill we don't we're charcoal people i mean yeah. i know you fall into two camps we're charcoal so he has a small charcoal grill i take the flat top um, from in here outside there's a table so other than that i would say that you know you've seen the videos we've had a couple hiccups in our shakedowns but trina mays she's a good girl uh we love her dearly and it's been so fun and yeah she's taking care of us and i don't think we ever addressed why we call her trina may <laughs> 
it started is her name has evolved it started off for all you old hip-hop heads of trina the rapper because she's the baddest rv is what we'll say the may piece was courtesy of reggie so let me turn the camera around so you can see this distinguished gentleman of but you were doing you were doing so well, i know so. but how y'all doing <laughs> so why did you add the may piece well because <laughs> trina may be ready to hit the road or she may not she may have the propane tanks in she may not uh, really, it was from the dealership because, if you, as y'all all heard, we went up there multiple, multiple times and back and forth. And you know, we just figured it, figured it had that uh, that southern charm to it. So why not? Trina May, and she did today. She made it. <laughs> <laughs> so, all right, guys, that's Trina May. We appreciate you guys tuning in. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the subscriptions, the beautiful comments, um, the encouragement. We really do appreciate each and every one of you all so hope y'all have a fantastic day and remember stay safe and enjoy the journey we'll see you in the next one